Hey guys, welcome back to the Small Town Critics Podcast. I'm one third of the Small Town Critics. My name's Mo. Kim. Mahon has you. And guys, we're here for the True Detective Season 4 review. True Detective Night Country, excuse me. <laughs> uh, starring Jodie Foster and Kelly Reese. Yep. Um, but yeah, before we get into that, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Please subscribe. Just subscribe. You know what I'm saying? It'll help us out a great deal. And you, know, you can see we're trying to be consistent with releasing multiple reviews in a week. So, you know, we're trying our best. Yeah. But um, guys, let's get into it. Hashi. What did you think of this season? Great, great start, not so great finish. Yeah, for me. Yeah, I thought the first three episodes were very, very strong. Yeah, episode four as well, but episode five was very weak, and episode six. Oh, the finale was a real, was a real letdown. For oh me. my, real, goodness. real letdown. Yeah. In regards to the reveal of the of the actual kind of like um, murder, yeah, and murders, so to speak, but just very, very underwhelming. Like didn't make much sense to me as well. Yeah. No comeuppance. Um, for me, I was very very apprehensive of the supernatural element of it at the start, but it all really worked in the story and the way it was shot and the way that kind of aspect really really kind of like intertwined into the actual kind of like mystery. Yeah. Especially in episode one and two, one two and three. I what agree. Did you, what did you think? I agree with you a little bit to an extent, but it's like for me, it didn't work at all this season. I didn't oh, like okay. it at all, man. Like. Performance wise, it was fantastic. Yes. Um, the way it was shot was great. Like everything being at night and stuff like that, I thought it was pretty well done. Yeah. But in terms of the story, like I, I just didn't find it captivating enough personally. And I feel like, like you said, the supernatural element of it, I felt like that was kind of a cop out, man, because none of it ended up being supernatural at the end of the day. They were just teasing, teasing, teasing with it. Yeah. And then at the end of the day, you find out the way, was her name Amy? No, uh, Kotok. Um, the one yes. that um, was it Amy? I can't remember the one the the, the yes, girl. Who, yeah, I think it's all, all yeah. Was it, yeah. Her death was just Annie. Sorry, Annie. Annie. Yeah, her death was just because of the men. The men's death was just because of those women. Which I thought the women they read out. They, that was amazing, by the way. But the fact that you're teasing this supernatural element and, then and none of it was actually the cause of it is like uh, no. I, I thought know, it was pretty. I thought it was pre- the reason why I thought that worked is because. You you begin to think, oh my goodness, is this is this real? Yeah, what's happening? But then you, when you realize there's actually an explanation to all of this, then yeah, yeah, it just didn't work for me. Was, you can. was this all filmed in like Alaska, Iceland, Iceland, Iceland? Yeah. Okay, Iceland okay, okay, yeah. Okay. yeah, I think Ennis, Alaska is a fictional place. Ennis, I think Ennis is a yeah. fictional place, but obviously Alaska. Yeah, no, b- but, yeah, because the whole sort of nighttime uh, prolonged. That's a thing in places, yeah, right? Yeah, it does happen for there. twenty-four hours at yeah, a time. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah. for for months. I c- that I actually does happen. I can't live like no, that. No, I can't either. I, I cannot I, live like that. Again, I could. Really, I, I could, man. I couldn't. That's do crazy. It, man. I could. I think just the excitement of knowing, just just understanding the logistics of it, and it, it makes sense. It's like this is just amazing, just phenomena that that loads of people in the world don't even know about it. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's and but it, for your circadian thing. rhythm, you need light. Yeah, is this for me? I don't know. For a lot of these people, I just think, just get out of this town, man. Yeah. <laughs> this is a yeah. terrible and place to be. People are so miserable. Yeah, well. and, and I, do you, they do took you, pains to to show how miserable people were. But do, do you reckon it was to do with obviously the the just the the the, the forever night time? Yeah, and also just the, in terms of the socio economics of the area as yeah. well. Like it was mostly just for the yeah. mining, the war poisoning, and the war poison yeah, was actually yeah. just killing these people. And it's something that's actual reality. Well, yeah. it's in, in America, f- f- obviously, I haven't finished it, but for me, like, why um, I weren't really into it even from the jump was I just felt that, like, again, they're teasing something that doesn't seem to be it. It's like, is as you say, is there's a supernatural um element yeah. to it because at the beginning you you have a sense of you have a sense that there is something more at play yeah even when when with the, the tongue finding and when you have the sort of the, the I don't, what are, are they out ilks or deers or what what were what they those yeah oh the, the reindeer reindeer are the they reindeer they will kill themselves yeah, the they start, jumped yeah. off the, it's like oh right 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 yeah, right, 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 right okay right, what's right, going right, on right. it's like it's, what's, what's that, that play threw me for a loop, yeah. right, and then Beyond that, no, like, okay. just, yeah. bro, the tongue wasn't even explained. Was yes. it not? No. It was not even explained. She asked the late, like, the there lady had no. There was nothing to do. Another thing, the orange that keeps popping up, that wasn't explained. Yeah, that's another thing. Like another thing, the the prior's dad. 
I feel like we didn't even really need him personally. I feel like anybody could have well, been that, that character. That guy is obviously a great character actor. You he know is. Him, he is. He's a good actor. But it, it didn't make much sense. We didn't you know need saying? him at all. Um, that scene though with Pryor shooting him and so that thought that was great. That scene yeah. itself, that was great. Yeah. And I felt for Pryor through, throughout this whole season of personally. Like I felt so bad for the guy. He wants to be a family man, but he can't because of and, because and of Danvers. Jodie Foster played her character so well because she, she was such a piece of crap. No, she acted it so well, yeah, so well, yeah. so well. Especially those first four episodes, were fantastic. Honestly, yeah. Out, really, really outstanding work from her. But like I don't know, I don't, I don't, I feel like, and they're trying to take elements from season one, which was amazing, and it just didn't work. Now, now the whole, the whole link with the Tuttles, yeah. and obviously, uh, what's the lady's name? Played by Fiona Shaw, great actor, English actor, who uh, Julia. Uh, Julia, yeah. Her husband being uh, uh, his surname in Cole, yeah, just like Russ Cole from yeah. True Detective season yeah. one. Yeah. Them having that connection, and then obviously, <laughs> in episode six, when the guy says it's. It's a f- times a flat circle, yeah. saying the the Russ Cole line. Yeah. Again, not needed. You know, it, it was like it was like playing True Detective Bingo. Not yeah, yeah. needed. You know what I'm saying? Can I can I ask? Out of all the true, uh, the True Detective, who would you rank this one? One. No, this is lost. No, this is lost. This is lost. This yeah, is lost. Yeah, yeah. Season one is the best. And thing is, is, is that one with Mahesha Holly? No, no, that's no, 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 one, no. What's his name? No, that's season um. Season three. Three. Season, three yeah, yeah. season one was with Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrison. It's top and 10 TV shows of all time for me. It's so wow. good, bro. Because I haven't seen that one. And what's amazing show. is their chemistry is so good. And what's so cool about it is that they 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 could actually be brothers in real life. Yes. Yeah, so I heard which about Which makes that. their chemistry that much better. Like, yeah. it just, it makes sense why it's so good. But them trying to take elements of it. Like, they're trying to surpass season one. They can't get there. They will, they will I, never get fair, there, I don't think the show will ever really, really, truly get It will never reach those heights. It's, that was so good. Yeah. Like I said, top 10 TV show of all time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um... And then it goes season three, yeah. I think for me. I thought season three was very, very good. Mahershal yeah. Ali scene. Then season two, two then, then f- this. Yeah, yeah. I like season two, by the way. Yeah. That's a man who likes season two and it had so many issues. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And also, I want to say, the horror elements didn't hit for me. I'm usually a person like, I will get scared easily pretty yeah. much, but it didn't hit. None of them jump scares never got me. I don't know what it is. For, I don't know. For me, for me, at the very start, the first episode, when the guy that's, literally meant to be frozen to death yeah. starts screaming that got me that that threw me back a bit but yeah. it never like got me do you know what I mean yeah, yeah. like I never jumped or anything like that yeah. but yeah I don't know I don't really have much to say I just didn't like this season man at all no nah, fair play, fair play. Yeah. but I just felt the reveal of the the actual killer or it, whatever it, whatever it is I don't want to ruin it for Ken like for me this was it was a bit of a um Underwhelming. Was it anticlimactic? It was so underwhelming, bro. Yeah, it was underwhelming. Yeah, I like the idea of it, like them riding up. But but in regards to justice, it makes no sense. Obviously, there's a rule of law. Like for them to not do anything didn't make any sense. Like just going back to even season one, like they there's there's certain parts they took the law into their own hands to try and get justice. So I think that ending was just kind of like, hey, we can't we can't mess with them. Like. It's, it's and the case is kind of closed really they were kind of just going along with yeah. just doing it because they wanted peace of mind and stuff like that but yeah it didn't work I love the inclusion of the Native American culture though that yeah. was pretty good that was done very well but um, yeah overall no story no sorry it's a shame as well because Judith is such a big thing but then I don't know if you heard about Nick Puxolato what, what he's been doing the creator of the original obviously series who did season one two yeah. and three he was very unhappy that someone else took on his sh- his show, by the right, way. Right, yeah, yeah. And he's been um, on Instagram really disparaging the creator of the show, Issa Lopez, just saying horrible stuff about like, oh, really? her show. And, like, it's been really bad. Like, a lot of fans have been saying bad stuff. And he went, he went on Instagram and said, yo, you guys, you don't worry about, you know what I mean? You just talk about this show, you know what I mean? Like, don't worry about what anyone has to say. You, know, you go, guys already know what I have to say, how I feel about it. You go crazy, and they went Damn. crazy, and they said a mess about her. And then I thought it was kind of good that HBO vindicated Issa Lopez because they've they've greenlit a season, a season five, yeah, as a continuation of the story. I don't know if you knew that of this, but of this, yeah, yeah. stuff like that. I I, don't, I can't get on board with. Goodbye. I can't get on board with b- b- because you want to defend somebody. And I don't think it was that. But no, but that's what also it seems also because like. it's not. I don't know if you're also aware. This did numbers. So many people. But it's going to do numbers on the back of the the, the first the first three. Now nah, the fact that it's HBO as well, yeah. yeah and, and it, because of the True Detective name, because obviously I've heard of it and I've been wanting to watch it because it's True Detective. Yeah. And then uh, to be fair, the marketing on Night Country, the way they marketed they it was well, yeah. amazing. 
to be fair there's, there's another kind of like lawyer detective show called Perry Mason which you guys know I love yeah. they did two seasons they didn't, they didn't commission a season three even though it's on HBO primetime yeah. on a Sunday yeah, so it just depends and apparently this was really popular and people really really connected with the show not us some people did like it yeah, yeah, yeah I've yeah. seen something but some people a lot of people didn't like it but yeah. this is an anthology series man every season should be different you know I don't know I, 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 again I, I'm with you I disagree that, they should, that this should be a continuation maybe you never know she may like see where this story went and see what the critical response because the critical response has been what we've, what we've said basically yeah. and she may change her mind and do something different yeah. you know what I'm saying anyway I, yeah, I don't really have much to say apart from like the performances were good but everything else for me didn't work which is completely understandable and kind of I was I, I was really worried after the like the last 10 minutes of episode 4 I was like oh no yeah Oh no! The season six, uh, the episode six was annoying. It's kind of like it was an oh. hour and fifteen as well. It didn't have to be that and long. And she, Jodie Foster, was just kind of like, do what you want with him. Then later on, she comes back, talks to him, and it's like, oh my god, he was a witness. We needed him, and it's like, I'm like, yo, what's going on here? But yeah, I don't know. But that's me. Anyone else got anything to say? I want to see Monk in the next season. Monk? You know who Monk is, isn't it? The detective. Oh, you want to see Jeffrey Wright? I love Monk. Oh. <laughs> I love Buck. I'm not gonna lie to you. That, that actually might be banging, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he would be great in shoes. He'd be yeah. great, yeah. You going to be Um Nah, that's that's everything from me. It was a shame, innit? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you good, Cal? All good. Man. Oh, well, that was our review for True Detective Night Country. Um, let us know in the comments what you think. I know there's some people out there that did like it, unlike us. So if you did like it, even if you didn't like it, just let us know in the comments what you thought. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when the videos are coming out. We will always be here every week. We'll see you guys soon. Peace. Peace. Peace.